Check, check, check. One, two, check. One, two, check. Yo, what is going on, gamers? And welcome back to another Borderlands uh, video. Hey, in this video, I've got some exciting news to share. And that news is that uh, 2K reached out to me. And they have graciously offered to fly me out to L.A. to be a part of the May gameplay reveal event for Borderlands 3. So I get to go out to L.A. courtesy of 2K. And um, I can't take some hands-on time with Borderlands 3, which is freaking incredible. I am so excited for it. it is, uh, this is probably the gaming event that I have been most excited about in my in my career so far about attending. This is this is pretty freaking exciting for me. I know most people know me as a PvP player, as a first-person shooter, uh, you know, player against player combat sort of extraordinaire right um well in in reality i mean as much as i love shooters that are pvp oriented i am a huge warlands fanatic i always have been um so to be a part of this event is, is really humbling for me and uh, i get to meet up with some of my my good friends and colleagues in the industry as well so very very cool stuff and uh, i wanted to let you know that I, I mean i definitely definitely will be covering borderlands 3 on the channel and uh, I highly anticipate that I'm going to be spending a whole lot of time playing that game and a whole lot of time making videos over that game because uh, I have a very rich history. I'm a, Like I said, I'm a huge Borderlands fan. Um, when Borderlands 1 launched, the week that it launched, I was in college. I was, uh, I want to say I was a sophomore in college. And uh, me and my buddy Neil at the time, Neil Bailey, good guy. So anyways, me, me and my buddy Neil were like, we need a new game to play. Um, we knew like a uh, cooperative game to play together. So we literally just drove out to GameStop that day. And uh, we asked, I remember we asked the, uh, the guy at the register, we said, hey, is there any new uh, you know, cooperative games that we can play together right now? And he, has, he says, well, this, um, this game Borderlands just came out and uh, it's getting a lot of attention. A lot of people are really enjoying it. And we looked at the box, we we're like, looks, looks weird. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we both just bought it on a whim, took it back. We were hooked, and uh, I could not put Borderlands 1 down. I still, to this day, I tell people the secret armory of General Knox is uh, in my top two DLCs of all time. I think this is one of the it's one of the two best DLCs in the history of gaming. Uh, the other one is uh, the Shivering Isles for Oblivion, but that's neither here nor there. That's a different conversation. But anyways, I was so hooked on Borderlands 1, absolutely adored it, and. Uh, Borderlands 2, I, funny story, I went to, by myself, to Borderlands 2, a uh, midnight launch at, uh, at a GameStop here in Grand Rapids, and at the time, I was actually working as, as a youth pastor at that time uh, that Borderlands 2 launched, and so <laughs> I, I go to this, this launch event, and I'm standing in line by myself, right? Saying this huge line to pick up my pre-ordered copy of Borderlands 2. And I and like a couple people ahead of me is one of my students <laughs> from from the church, from the youth group. And he was uh, very high. <laughs> and so he's just loud, boisterous, and then when he when he saw me, he he was like, Oh no, you're not gonna tell my mom, are you? <laughs> anyways, that's uh neither here nor there. But at that, uh, at that launch party, I actually won a life-size Lilith cardboard display that I got to take home with me. My wife was like, why do you have this? But uh, I won it for doing the best scooter impression of all the people that were there. So I did a, a, I did a good, solid scooter impression. You know, I gave my good old catch a ride and, uh, <laughs> and I won a, a little display there. Anyways... I'm just so excited. Uh, like you can tell, I've been a fan of this franchise for a long time. And uh, actually, my very first, very first videos I ever uploaded onto YouTube, true story, uh, under a different account. It wasn't my true Vanguard account at the time. Uh, <laughs> anyways, actually, if you follow me on Twitter, I actually linked one of these videos today. Uh, you can check it out if you want. It's so terrible. The quality is terrible. The commentary is terrible. But I remember... Um, I played so much of this game, Borderlands 2, uh, when the Pearlescence came out, and I found good ways of farming them, uh, especially um, farming the loot midgets, right? <laughs> when I found a good way of farming them, and I just had my whole inventory was just filled with Pearlescence, I was like, I gotta share the good news on where to find these things and how good they are. I had no capture card. Like I said, I, 
I was a youth pastor at the time. I had no money to my name, so I had no tech. I literally just recorded videos. I I would I would hold the phone between my chin and my chest while having my hands on the controller, so I could sh so I could record my um, with my phone, just my TV screen while I'm playing the game and just kind of talking through, and uh, you know where to find these pro lessons, what they do, how good I think they were, and uh, anyways, those were. <laughs> Those were my first videos on YouTube. Never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. Six years later, uh, almost to the day, almost to the day, six years ago, I uploaded one of those videos. Um, never would have guessed six years later that 2K would be flying me out to LA to play Borderlands 3 with some of the people, you know, that I even watch. Like, I remember at the time, um, you know, I played so much Borderlands 2 that I was watching some videos. And at the time, I was watching Jay. I was watching Morning After Kill. Uh, watched a ton of his stuff. Watched uh, Yodi Slayer. May he rest in peace. And um, you know, these were the guys that I was watching. And and now, I mean, I get to go to this event, and I get to call people like this my peers, my colleagues in the industry. It's just so cool for me. It really is uh, a really cool experience. So I'm very much looking forward to flying out there. And um, I would tell you guys, if you're looking for Borderlands content and you're a subscriber of mine, just know that you will you will see Borderlands content here on the regular. Once we get close to Borderlands 3, and when it launches, um, you know, presumably if if uh, if they allow it, you know, we'll record some gameplay and uh, bring it home and show it to you on the channel if I'm allowed to. If that's something that they're gonna let us do, which I think it probably is. Uh, but anyways, ah. Hudso Jazz, are you guys excited for Borderlands 3? If you are, let me know um, what you're most excited about. Let me know your history with this game. Have you played Borderlands at all in the past? Did you play Borderlands 1? Did you play Borderlands 2? What you're seeing in the in the background right now is actually um, Borderland, Borderlands 1, the Game of the Year edition, sort of remastered. And uh, I've been playing that off stream lately, just in my own downtime. Uh, in the evenings when cranking through this game and uh it's been it's been fun it's been real nostalgic actually in this video i think i think i just spliced together all of the the boss fights from the main campaign and just threw them all together for you so hopefully you enjoy that but anyways thanks for watching the video guys hopefully your nostalgia is kicking in hopefully your anticipation levels are as high as mine are uh mine are through the roof you know and uh when they did the reveal trailers and whatnot i mean i was i was grinning like a darn fool ear to ear watching these uh trailers so i'm so jazzed for it all right well thanks for watching the video guys thanks for tuning into the channel feel free to check out any future borderlands content that i may post hope you have a wonderful rest of your day warm and well fed my friends Bye bye